Welcome to IBC 2024. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries right here in Amsterdam. John, day two of IBC, how's the show going so far? Uh, it's going great. I mean, right now is a little bit of a lull, but like I said earlier, they come in waves. So we've had about 200 visitors in the last two days, and we're not quite, what, are we halfway through today? So it's been very busy, it really has. Fantastic, good yeah. signs of a good show. I think so. So tell me, Walla, how are they positioned in the broadcast and media industry? So Wohler is about a 40-year-old company. We were founded in 1983, and we're known for audio and video confidence monitoring. Um, and so um, our approach is, and we pioneered the very first NRAC audio monitor in 1983. And since then, we've extended our capabilities principally around interface, so physical interface, and around codec. We're very agnostic. I mean, there are some things that are very obvious in the broadcast space, like SDI, so baseband. But we're doing, uh, we've always featured analog interfaces, we've always featured baseband interfaces, and now, of course, the prevalence of IP means SMPTE 2110, Dante, Ravenna, um, and we just added, we're showing a new feature in our monitors for NDI, which is quickly becoming pretty popular. I mean, it's coming out of the prosumer space, really, and kind of poking its head into the broadcast space. So we thought that was important. Um, we are also big proponents of uh, Dolby. So we do everything Dolby, Dolby Digital Plus, Dolby E, AC3. Um, I think we're the only vendor today with an AMU or an, uh, an audio monitoring unit that does uh, Dolby Atmos. Um, and then as far as SDI, baseband, you know, 12G is really popular, or becoming really popular, so 12G SDI. So Ultra HD video, um, Dolby Atmos, and AC4. So these are, these are uh, positioning us very well, you know, really to cover all the bases. Um, another new product we actually formally launched at NAB a couple of months ago is a new software product called Maverick, which is designed to be a remote cloud-based monitoring application so that teams can be bonded together in groups, see their, what they normally would see on the front panel of our products, they now can see through a web GUI or through an app that's integrated with an iPhone or an Android device. Um, and they can be, receive alerts, um, see their audio, or listen to their audio, see their video, essentially get the exact same experience they would get on the front panel, but get it through a web interface or through a, a GUI on a phone, so. So that was showcased at NAB. What are you showcasing here at IBC? So, well, I mentioned NDI. So that's a big new feature. So we're showcasing NDI capabilities in our, all of our products. And then um, we just launched a new monitor, a new Interact monitor, which brings back a, a very popular product from about four or five years ago that we had to discontinue because of some supply issues. Um, but at any rate, it's called IAM1-MIX. It's a product that um, has touchscreen capabilities like most of our products, but it also has a, a favorite, especially in the truck and the outside broadcasting environment, is you know, a need to really move fast, do audio spot checks, so quickly mute, unmute, adjust gain and adjust volume, and then create custom outputs. And that product's called IAM1-MIX8, and we just launched it for IBC. And who is this for and what are the future use perspective cases? It's really for, mo I mean, it's anybody who wants to do audio monitoring and create mixes. So it could be a studio, it could be a regular broadcaster, but the pop, that product has always been pretty popular in the OB truck environment. So like the NEPs of the world, you know, anybody who's doing on-site live production and needs to qualify and guarantee the quality of their feed that's going out to whoever they're do doing the shoot for, that's where it's really most popular. Got it. Yeah. And in terms of trends, what are you seeing unfolding in the industry and what are you doing to meet those trends? Uh, trends, I guess, you know, again, the trend is really the biggest one probably is towards IP. SMPTE 2110. Most of our customers are ha have either started to move it towards IP with 2110 or they're saying in the next six months, year, year and a half, that's going to be a big part of a, of a major upgrade. So we feel like we're really well positioned there. We've been shipping a 12G capable, Dolby Atmos capable product for about 18 months. 
and we're enabling 12G in all of our products. We now we announced a couple of months ago an, uh, essentially a module that you can slide into a 3G product that makes it 12G capable. So we're, I think we're really well positioned for IP. On that note, where do you see the future going for Walla? I think um, becoming a broader, Wooler becoming a broader source for general monitoring, defining all of these monitoring capabilities, whether it's confidence monitoring or, or uh, transport stream monitoring, network monitoring, you know, physical, uh, mo physical layer monitoring, um, and being able to monitor any source for video or any source for audio and do it all in one place. Um, that's a, a very strong direction for Wooler is to, is to essentially give people what they need regardless of interface or regardless of um, codec. So. Very exciting times for Wooler. Yeah, thank you so is. much, John. Thank you. Have a fantastic rest of your show. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it.